this is problem 4.67 from the text the problem reads the variable resistor r in figure is adjusted until it absorbs maximum power from the circuit calculate the value of r for maximum power determine the maximum power absorbed by r so we are interested in finding the power consumed by this external load r so in order to answer this question we're going to try to reduce this to a circuit that looks like this as we saw in class this is my resistance r this is my r thevenin this is my v thevenin and then i will compute the find out i and we'll find out what i square r is and we will see that i square r is the is the power delivered to this resistor and this power p is given by that and p max this takes a maximum value when when i when r becomes equal to r thevenin so that's p square I square R Thevenin and the actual resistance itself uh, the current itself is going to be V Thevenin by R Thevenin plus R Thevenin because they're both R Thevenin square R Thevenin which is going to be V Thevenin square by 4 r thevenin as we saw in class so in order to do the reduction so this is just the essence of what we're going to do this is just from the concept but to solve this first we have to find out what r thevenin is to find out r thevenin since there are no dependent sources i would simply redraw this circuit as as my circuit without the current the voltage source I disable it and find out what are thevenin across terminals A and B is so that's my R thevenin and that is an 80 20 ohms 10 ohms and 90 ohms <coughs> which tells me that the circuit is the same so R thevenin is given by 20 and 90 in oh, right. that's a mistake so we are disabling the voltage source we shot it so now we realize that what we have is a circuit which I can redraw it as 80 and 20 in parallel 80 and 20 in parallel with in series with or plus 90 and 10 in parallel which gives me 80 and 10 in parallel gives me 16 plus 9 and 10 in parallel gives me 9 which is equal to 25 ohms so 25 ohms is is my resistance R thevenin resistance so my second step then is to find V thevenin to find V thevenin I will redraw the circuit and this time around I'm gonna um, leave everything as it is so so we're trying to find out uh, the V thevenin in this circuit so I'm gonna make it look a little different just for so that it doesn't look all complicated for us I'm going to draw it redraw it this way 
um, which is my circuit here and these are my terminals and we're trying to find out what V Thevenin is. So this is 20, this is my voltage, independent voltage source which is 40 volts, this is 20 ohms, and that's 90 ohms, that's 80 ohms and that's 10 ohms. So now I can use mesh analysis. So I'm going to use a mesh current here called I1 and a mesh current here called I2. And I will write my expressions for the mesh currents. So this is my mesh analysis and my mesh analysis, my exp equations for the first mesh with I1 mesh current is I have 80 plus 20 times I1 minus 40 equals 0 which gives me I1 equals 40 by 100 so it's 0.4 amps the equation here is 10 I2 plus 40 plus 90 I2 equals 0 that gives me a 100 I2 equals minus 40 so I2 equals minus 0 0.4 amps which tells me my V Thevenin is so I can now write my V Thevenin by writing an expression that says V Thevenin is the voltage across these two points so that's going to be minus so if I do a current this analysis here so I start from here so that's minus and remember that I2 is flowing this way so that's 90 I2 minus 20 I1 plus V Thevenin equals 0 which tells me that this V Thevenin then is 20 I1 so that's 20 times 0.4 plus 90 times minus 0 0.4 which gives me a minus 28 volts so now that I know my V Thevenin which is minus 28 volts and my R Thevenin which is this I can write my expression for so R equals R Thevenin equals 25 ohms which is what they're we are being asked to find out here calculate R for maximum power and we know that maximum power P max is given by minus 28 square this equation right here divided by 4 times 25 
which comes out to 28 square is 784 so that's going to be 7.84 watts so that gives us answer to the second part